Hello and welcome to another episode here at Big Man in the Woods. My name is Mark, your online scout leader, helping you become a better scout leader. Now, in this vlog, I'm editing a live stream we did only last week, and Gustavo asked us the question on how he can become a good scout leader. Now he's coming to the end of his rover journey and becoming a scout leader. So I thought, you know what? I'll edit in the vlog and get answers from you guys. And here's what you guys said on how to become a good scout leader. All right, what's the topic? <coughs> this is my last year as a youth member, actually nine months left. Do you guys have any suggestions or advice for me? On becoming a leader, do it. Um, I do, it. Think, do it. Yeah, and be yourself. Don't try and impersonate someone. No. Um, and know your. In fact, this is a vlog I was um, just recorded today. Is about how you can become the best leader in your district, and it's about knowing your, um, knowing your expertise and when to call for help, and not trying to pretend that you know everything. Yeah, be yourself. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Definitely right. that. Um, definitely that. You know, when when I look. Uh, this is just m my advice. It might be different from the others, but when I look at the guys in Bush Scout, that's the kind of my mentors and the people that I look up to. Every single one of those leaders is all different and and has different um, personalities and um, experiences and knowledge is all different and stuff. So I think it's just about being yourself and just kind of going, actually, maybe I could take a bit of this and this and this and creating a person and it never works. So I think just be yourself, Gustavo, and just kind of just know your limits and know when to think, ask for help. Th think back as well to the activities and events that you enjoyed as a younger person and try to recreate and deliver those back to the young people. But what, Colin, if you were like me and wasn't a member of the scouting movement in your youth? Oh, that's a good good question. What because would you I do? I just came more or less off the streets, as they say. I think one of the challenges there is that you, you will, as a, a non-scouting person joining the movement, you will start to think of ideas um, that you and activities that you might want to deliver, but feel then that you can't do it because of whatever reason. But yep. don't be shy to explain that to the to the leader. Say, how about we go and climb a mountain? probably a bad example but you know th there's ways that they can do that but yep. the the current leadership team may be too scared or shy to attempt that activity and it may give them that gumption to actually go ahead and try and arrange it yeah exactly um and how as how i said i've been living for 30 years and still don't know everything and yeah absolutely and it's a bit it's a bit like technology isn't it things move all the time and you never be afraid to ask for help and just kind of saying actually i don't i don't know what this is and um you know or, or there might be things that you look at the older generation of leaders and they might have expertise in in whatever subject and getting them to come in uh ian saying uh across the pond in canada plan something really fun for the next nine month, nine month for yourself leave with great memories as a youth and hopefully you can pass those on to the other scouts yeah exactly great right. great advice great advice uh janet is saying my advice is to connect with other leaders like you are doing here they are great resources for ideas and morale support meeting ian was a great moment for me as a scouter i have learned a lot from him exactly it's just asking for other people uh maggie is saying you learn from others but bring your own twist on things i've joined and i've never previously been involved in scouting exactly like me maggie um yeah uh, uh yeah we're all here to help gustavo but i can't come along to do fire lighting colin can't come along what do you want to do knife safety is what colin does and max can't do tracking we, we, we would love to to come and help that weekend but yeah, it's a bit of a track to Brazil. Unless you're paying Gustavo, then we'll we'll be around. And I hope, guys, that's that's helped you, not just Gustavo. Maybe you're a young leader watching this and you're thinking of becoming a scout leader. Or if you're joining the movement like me as a non-scouter, as an adult wanting to volunteer and use your time nicely in the community and you're thinking, yeah, how do I become a scout leader? Well, I think those uh, those tips and tricks have, will help you in becoming a good scout leader. There you go, guys. Don't forget, subscribe to Big Man in the Woods. Click that notification bell and watch this playlist here for some more advice if you're a first-timer scout leader. Till next time, guys. Take care.